Let's talk about the precision versus recall trade-off. When we use machine learning to classify objects, we want to know how well our algorithm is performing. There are many different metrics for measuring performance, but two of the most commonly used are precision and recall. No real-world system performs perfectly, so we might not be able to score 100% on both precision and recall. Of course, we'd like to improve each of these if it's less than 100%, but efforts to improve one of these often comes at the expense of the other metric. This is the precision versus recall trade-off. Now, many algorithms classify objects by assigning numerical values to each object, with higher scores indicating that an object is more likely to be in the class we are interested in. These scores could be probabilities, but they don't have to be. Since individual objects can have different scores, we assign the objects to a particular class if they meet or exceed some threshold for class membership. Increasing or decreasing the threshold changes which objects are in a particular class. So let's look at an example. Let's say that we have three cat images in our data set and two dog images. And we ask the system, so we have a query here, we ask the system to give us all images of cats. And the results that we get are two cat images and one dog image. And so these three images were returned. These are all supposed to be images of cats out of the five images that we had. All right. So since two of the three images that were returned really are cats, because these values right here, these are the true values, but our system doesn't know that. That's why we have some algorithm to try to figure it out. These are the true values. Since two of the three things that were returned are really cats, then our true positive rate is equal to two. Since one of the values that was returned, misclassified as a cat, was really a dog, our false positive rate, or excuse me, these aren't rates, these values, our false positive value is one. Now we were given two of the three possible cat images, so that means one cat image was misclassified as not being a cat. So our false negative value is one. And then the other dog image, because we got one out of the two, the other dog image was correctly classified as not being a cat. So our true negative value is also one. All right. Now, how do we use precision recall to quantify our performance? So recall is equal to the true positive value divided by the true positive value plus the, the uh, false negative value because this right here is this, this right here is this. So this right here is two divided by three, which is 67%. Precision is equal to true positive divided by true positive plus false positive, which is two divided by three also, which is also 67%. So what do these really mean? Well, when we talk about recall, what we're really saying is of the true images of cats in the data set, how many were classified as cats? That is, out of the three cat images that truly were there, how many did our system return? And that was two, right? so 67%. In terms of precision, we will know how precise the results are. So this says, of the three values that were returned, how many of those were cats? So if we really had gotten both two of the cat images plus both of the dog images here, our recall would have stayed the same because we got two out of the three possible cats. But now our uh, precision would have been 50% because it would have been two-fourths. Right? 
So where does the trade-off come in? These values right here are based upon a particular threshold. So now let's work through an example where we change the threshold and see how it changes the recall and precision. All right, so let's create a table here. Make sure you can see this. So over here, I'm gonna have the images in order by score, highest to lowest. So ordered by score, whatever that is. So we have a cat images, or cat image, excuse me, another cat, one of the dogs, another cat, the final dog. All right. And so here we'll have true positive, false positive, false negative, and true negative. And then we'll calculate recall and precision. So if the threshold basically returns this top value, it's basically here between these. So choosing this threshold value returns only the single image of a cat when we ask for cats, and these other four images are considered not cats. So that means our true positive value is one, our false positive value is zero, our false negative is two because these two cats were misclassified, and our true negative is two. So our recall then will be uh, true positive. Let me write this down again. Divide by true positive plus false negative. And precision is going to be true positive. Divide by true positive plus false positive. So true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. is one third or 33%. And our precision here will be true positive divided by true positive plus false positive. So one divided by one plus zero is one, which is 100%. So we have good precision for our recall is pretty poor. So now we lower the threshold and when we do, What's returned are two pictures of cats and no pictures of dogs. So now our true positive value goes up to two. False positive is still zero. False negative is now one because only one cat image was misclassified. And our two dog images are still correctly classified as not being cats. So now we get true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. So now I get two divided by two plus one, which is 67%. And then our precision will be two divided by two plus zero, which is still 100%. Lower the threshold to here. So now what we get are two cats and a dog. That was what we saw in our original example. So true positives are two, false positive is one, false negative is one, and true negative is one. So true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. Two divided by three, which is 67%. And this would be two divided by two plus one, which is also 67%. Over the threshold again to this. Now we get three cats and a dog. So our true positive value is three, false positive is one, false negative is zero now, right? Because there's no cats that were misclassified and our true negative is still one. So now we get three divided by, um, where we at? True positive plus false negative, three plus zero, which is 100%. And our precision here will be true positive, which is three, divided by true positive plus false positive. So three quarters, 75%. And 
And then finally, we lowered the threshold such that every image is returned. So we get three here, two here, zero and zero, because they all have to sum to five. Everything has to be in one of the four possibilities here. So true positive is three. Three plus zero equals 100%. And then here we get, of the five things that were turned, how many really were cats? So that's three fifths, which is 60%. So we see in general that as we lowered the threshold, the recall was increasing. So in general, goes down recall goes up but precision goes down there was a blip here notice it went 67 up back up to 75 back down to 60 just to do the nature of things but of course it's a generalization but all this has some intuitive sense. If our system contains at least one picture of a cat, we can get perfect recall by just returning everything. Even if that means we have a million pictures of dogs as well. But if we want to improve precision, we tighten up things by returning fewer things, assuming that those objects with higher scores tend to be the correct classified objects. So there's where the trade-off comes from. If you find videos like this helpful, please press the uh, subscribe button.